So can you just tell us real fast what happened to you? I had, um, I was playing basketball and I had, um, my, I was trying to get the ball then I had fell on my hand and then I tried to save myself with my hand and then had caught back and then I had. Okay, did your finger like hyperextend it to go back too yeah. far? Yes, yes sir. Okay, then you came in, you had those, you had them buddy taped when, he, when you brought in. So I was gonna ask um, our orthopedic surgeon to kind of explain a little bit what um, he, and mom's got a picture here. Let me, mom, let me borrow that picture for just a minute. So basically, we'll, we'll get better x-rays, but he's got this uh, kind of a spiral fracture of the proximal phalanx of that third finger. And uh, so I was wondering, could you, could you talk a little bit about your exam and what yeah. made you think you're gonna end up putting yeah. a pin through this? Sure, so the first thing I, I look at whenever there's um, fractures in the fingers is kind of the gross alignment of the fingers. So when you, when you make a fist, your, your, all your fingers, we call it the cascade, they should all go down and they should all be pointing to what we call the scaphoid tubercle, which if you feel on your wrist, it's kind of like a little bump right there in your, your scaphoid bone. Or you can just say kind of the, the base of the thumb. So all the fingers, if you imagine a line going through, should all be pointed there. Anytime you have a, a fracture or a break of one of the uh, bones in your finger, in this case, um, he's got a fracture of his proximal phalanx, you can have rotation through that fracture site causing the fingers to kind of point, and then we would say the cascade is off. So if we look at his hand and we ask him to try to kind of try to make a fist, we can see here this injured finger, all these fingers are kind of pointed down here where they should, but this one's kind of pointed off to the side. So to me, there's, a, there's some subtle um, malrotation of that finger, and if we let that heal up, then uh, how it is, then that could you know, lead to you know, not being able to make a fist correctly, especially in a, a young kid like this who's really into basketball that may you know, um, impede his performance with ball handling and, and shooting, et cetera. Okay. So in this case, with these fractures that are spiral, there's, um, they're kind of inherently unstable, and so um, usually I recommend that we do a reduction in a pin to hold it in place until it heals up um, so that we can kind of more assuredly get that um, that that um, cascade back okay and, cool and, uh, and then so you're going to basically how are you going to splint him today then so today we'll you know since we're our plan is for surgery you know um, we're, we're just kind of trying to splint for basically just comfort and soft tissue rest so we'll splint with just a uh, what we call a volar resting splint kind of just a splint that goes on the volar surface of the hand and so instead of straight like this, we have the hand and fingers in what we call an intrinsic plus position, just slight flexion of the wrist and, um, uh, sorry, slight extension of the wrist and flexion of the MCP joints, almost like if you're holding a, like a soda can or something like that. And that's kind of the optimal position for, you know, for, um, for splinting a, a, a hand injury like this. Okay, cool. That, that's very helpful. Thanks so much. Yeah, you bet. So intrinsic plus uh, position, just to keep the hand from getting getting tight. So the intrinsic muscles, you put it in a position to keep those intrinsic muscles on stretch and that'll prevent it from getting tight. He's only gonna be in it for a day. So that's really all it is there. Just a little bit of flexion in the wrist, 45 degrees and yeah. MCPs. I mean, you want them to be 70 to 90. Okay. Now you have, pla you just have plaster volar. You don't have, do you have plaster right, just, on top too? Just volar. Just below, okay. So it's kind of a resting splint, you know, yeah. it's nothing too, too crazy. Yeah, so he still has some moving, mm -hmm. movement of his fingers. And there's the final product. Very fancy. All right, good. Nice job.